Alice, why does she take so long? Why was the music glitchy? You guys probably have a whole lot of questions. Alice was, um, I was brushing my teeth because I didn't brush my teeth this morning. And y'all, brushing your teeth is very important, guys. It's very important because, y'all, y'all, I went to the dentist yesterday. I went to the dentist yesterday, guys. And y'all, I ain't ever drinking Dr. Pepper again. So, yeah, that's why it took so long because I was booging out of bed and I needed to still brush my teeth for today. So I brushed them while the starting sewer screen was up. And then I... I was also uploading... Why are you guys saying hurry? I'm here. What? Some of y'all gotta refresh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, hi. Hi. Um, so, essentially, what happened was I was uploading my short at the same time as the starting scene screen was up, which is why it was so laggy. But that's done now, so it ain't gonna be laggy anymore. And also, I have four big cavities that they want to treat. And multiple others that he thinks they're just surface level. So right now I have to use a special type of mouthwash and to try and break them down. Yay! That's my life. Huzzah! So yes, tooth, uh, teeth brushing is important. Take care of your teeth, y'all. And guess what? Don't drink soda. When I was sitting there, right? I was sat there. This is way too loud for me. I'm gonna turn it down. After I drank some tea. Mm. Brush your teeth, y'all. And don't drink too much soda, y'all. He was looking at my teeth, and you know what this man said? You know what he said to me? You know what he said to me? You must drink a lot of soda. <gasps> ah! Yes, I drink a lot of soda. And that, that, that. I, I forgot what part we were at. I did see Nina graduated! Well, she's not graduated yet, but she's going to be in a week. My apartment's a mess. Oh, I think I... This is, like, back a little bit. E? E! Oh, thank you for the sub. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyways. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. You already saw this part. This game is called Fall of Porcupine. It's about a pigeon being a doctor. We gotta put the door under your way. I hope my lazy creature self appreciates this. Um, I really gotta heck and blow my nose. One second. You see, my life is in shambles right now because usually, can you hear me? Um, usually I sleep with my phone upside down, right? I sleep with my phone flipped over and upside down. But I broke my phone charger. Remember how I made that YouTube short about breaking my phone charger? And then it turns out that I didn't even break it. It was just a... It wasn't plugged in. And I was just a little silly goofy for that. So I did that. Now it is broken. Like, officially broken. So I I got a... Uh, a wireless charger for my phone. But I still... I suppose I could have it flipped over, right? Maybe. But I slept through my alarm. Is that you? We already saw this. We already saw this. We can we can cruise right on through it. Ba ba ba. Gotta go to the high street. I do quite I I really don't mind the games that go back a little bit, you know? Like with the save points. Just because I don't remember. I don't remember. All is going well, except for my poor phone. I spilled a bunch of water on it. Say hi, Ember. Hi, Ember. What does that mean? Your eyes must have from allergies. I got allergies. Your girlfriend broke up with you? Well, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear that, Orpal. Hello, sir. Bye, sir. Is he going to stop me? How rude of him. You again. We're doing work on the town fountain today. I wanted to take the high street today anyway. Alright, guess we're good then. Oh, okay, okay. He's not going to stop me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why isn't it... Is this the high street? Is the high street the low street? What does this mean? 
It's not a horror game. It's not a horror game. It's more of a cozy game. It is very quiet though, isn't it? I noticed that the BGM isn't super loud. That's okay. Is this the high street? Oh, there's a crow up there. Are you, who are you? Are you Pina? Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. Nope. Sorry. I gotta go to work. Here we go. There she is. Oh. Owie. I'm working. I'm gonna go to work covered in paint. Welcome back from school. Finbo, are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? Huh. <laughs> you're the unluckiest person I know. You know that? I just wanted to come and help. I know. Thanks. And you really have too. What do you mean? I need an idea for my facade. Looks like you sorted that out for me. I'm just glad I brought all the plants in first. That looks suits you. You should wear it more often. You think? Absolutely. Adds that much needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? Yeah. I better head right. I don't want to stain the beds on the ward later. Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast dry paint that you're wearing there. Let's get me cleaned up. You guys might also be wondering why have I down chosen to downgrade my V Bridger tracking and the answer is I didn't. It also ties into I broke my phone. That's more like it. You really are a walking disaster area, aren't you? First the box hits you on the head now, a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what I just realized? I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here. I'm impressed. Thank you. I've put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants and so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? Am I quitting my job? Hey, I was worth the shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. We'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. He doesn't have hair. Have you got time for a day out tomorrow? You know I don't. Actually, want a helmet, right? No, I want to go to the glow milk woods. You want to come with me? I don't go to the woods. Can you hear me? Hello? What? I died. I think I saw a paint in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Yeah, I'm in woodland air is good for the health. Great. Ah. Okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow. We'll just meet up at my store again, okay? And watch your head. Here we go. Wee! You gotta go. Ah. They said so my model was creative. Oh, <gasps> yay! I'm creative. Ah. I'm so happy. Should I put on glasses? My gamer glasses. This is gamer mode. Oh, it's darker now. It's glowing. It took us a long time to get here, didn't it? What's this? Oh, it's a supermarket! How cute! I wonder if they're mean though. I feel like a lot of indie games always make the supermarkets like the bad guys, you know? Like in Stardew Valley and stuff? Why are supermarkets always the bad guys? They shouldn't be. Oh, I'm on the railing! Here we go. Look at these houses! Oh, it's on glass. I want a cool modern-y house like that. <clears throat> Alas. Alas, I got paid, y'all. I got paid today. My very first paycheck for my new job. And I think it's a half paycheck. It better be a half paycheck because, y'all, my paycheck was $232. What even is that? What even is that? What am I supposed to do with $232? I'm not gonna pay my bills, guys! I feel like this way is longer than the top boy. I was so sad. So, so sad. So. But eventually, I think it is half. Or even less than half. It's a lot. That doesn't even pay my car payment. It's a lot too. It, I would have thought it was a lot before I start working and like getting job and stuff. So I can, I can see where you're coming from if you don't have like a full-time job yet. Y'all, this ain't the, this ain't the hospital. Where am I? I'm just going to the right. Where am I? I'm lost. Oh, is the hospital up here? I think so. I think so. Maybe. 
No, I think I just got lost. Guys, I need. Mean, where's my signage? This isn't the right way, but let's see what's up here. Wee! <clears throat> yeah, life is expensive, unfortunately. Who is this way? Is the hospital this way? <coughs> There's some cars, maybe? Why don't I have a car? I feel like I need a car. Are you the hospital? Yes, it looks like it. It looks like it. Ooh, here we are. We made it. Somehow. Somehow. You're gonna go to bed. Get good sleep. Get good sleep. Yeah, my allergies. They're not that bad, but they're decently bad. Come and get me, Ollie, if you dare. Jelly leg, scaredy cat. Oh, no, he's running. Stand still. Why are you always such a chicken? Come here. Wait, but he's being chased by another patient? Hey, no running down here. Oh, my old nerves. Wait. Are they... Not my problem. You know what? Not my problem. It ain't my problem. I was told to mind my business. So it's time for me to mind my business. I'm gonna take the elevator. You're allergic to peanuts, but not on a deadly level. I'm the same way with, uh... Avocados. Hello! Hey, Finley. N Mia, you look rushed off your feet. Busy day, huh? Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. The Hendersons in room 302 won't keep still for five minutes. I can't deal with that kind of thing. Yeah, I just saw those two myself. Really? Where? Downstairs at the main entrance. Oh, dear, and I just got them back into bed. Anything I need to know? The Hendersons poisoned each other? <laughs> what? Were they trying to kill each other? No, no. It was a dare, but I'm sure they can explain it better themselves. I'll look into it right away. It can't be that bad, the way they were running around. Hmm, <clears throat> I don't know. The test we took at lunchtime didn't look so great. You definitely won't get bored anyway. And I... I'm going now. All I want to do is go lay down on the couch. You've earned it. Go get some rest. See you tomorrow. Break your leg. Is this my first night shift? <gasps> How exciting! You work at your family business? I work... Fast food. Why would you do that, Lucy? That's so bad. Alright, let's start at P31. We'll deal with the Hendersons later. You're a new welcome! Welcome, Atsu! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the stream! Here we go! Hello, Irma! How are you this evening? Beautiful, isn't it? The fall? It's just a pity it always gets dark so early. I wouldn't mind a few more hours of sunshine. It's bright enough in here, though, luckily! True, but a long walk in the fall air would do me good. Still, you're right. You know, when I was young, light wasn't a given. We always had to catch it first. Catch it? The light. I used to be more agile than we're used to today. It was quite tricky. I'll tell you the story if you like. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Oh, that's too bad. But I'm sure you have a lot of work to do. If I end up staying here longer, I'm sure we'll get a chance to chat again. Yes, I'm sure we will. How are you feeling today? I think... I don't know exactly. It's a strange feeling not being able to answer that question. I haven't slept this much in years, and I'm feeling a little chilly. Let me take a look. It'll only take a second. Oh, I skipped it. Oh, I remember this one. Okay. Oh, we go on right. No way. Okay, but it's none of these. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 oh. I was just looking at the outline. Okay. So, it can be one of these. Is it the foot or is it the skull? It ain't the heart though. Let's put the bone here. here heart no no only one of those is right so it's probably oh no oh i don't know how to do this okay 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 so one of these is right 
But which one? Is it the school? Oh, 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 it's probably that one. Here, you go there. Bone go here. And then eyeball? Not eyeball. Heart. Not heart. Foot. Not foot. Hand? Hand! Oh, we did bad. We did bad. Yeah, my mouth, it doesn't close. And I do have the upgrade now, but since my phone broke, the tracking won't work well. Yes. My records indicate that you have pneumonia and you've got a fever too. I'm afraid I couldn't determine more details than that because I suck at my job. Oh my goodness me. This would have been so much trouble when I was younger. Yes, unfortunately, the immune system weakens with age. Well, looks like you're stuck with me a little longer, doctor. That weird old lady with her oddball stories. How terrible. Yes, you don't know what you've gotten yourself into. Occupational hazard. You better sleep now. You need to get some rest. Then we'll have you then we'll soon have you back on track i know i'm a doctor and it's a bit of a cliche but sleep really is usually the best medicine i agree hi welcome it's mocha oh hi mocha i remember you mocha thanks sorry miss ma'am i feel like she's gonna die i feel like we're at least gonna have one person die you just joined high blueberry arts welcome 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 we're at least gonna have one person die Wee. Ha, I'm speedy. <gasps> hello, hello, it's in chaos. Thank you for your support. Faker, quitter. I drank half the bottle. Yeah, right, I saw you spit it out because I had to puke. I puked first, boys. He always starts it, he never stops, boys. You're suffering from fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. May I ask why? Mold fight, yeah, <laughs> mold fight. <laughs> Don't even want to know. We found this moldy old bottle in the basement. Orange juice, champagne. It was fermented frothy orange juice. No, gloopy, whatever. I, I missed that one. I think I'm going to be sick. Let's take a closer look. Which one of you is Oliver? Here. Ha, Ollie's always first person losing, maybe. Oh man. These people suck. What are we going to do now? I'm going to have to give you an injection. Whoa, what? No way, needles are totally laying. He's scared. Look, he's shaking. I'm not shaking. Come on, Doc, let's get this over with. And this one's new. I gotta get a drink. I definitely sleep with my mouth open. So I always wake up and my mouth is so heckin' dry. Hi, Snooze. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Find the spot where the blue vein is closest to the surface of the skin. Place the syringe with E there. Hold E afterwards to draw the right amount of blood. Or administer the right amount of medication. Okay. Oh, I see. I see right there. There you go, sir. I hope you don't die because of my medical negligence. You did it! New sub! Welcome! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! B? B? I thought I did a darn good job! What do you mean, B? Alright, all done! Look, I didn't feel a thing! Piece of cake! <laughs> I'm just really brave. They probably gave me the kitty injection! That's no sweat! I could do it too! Okay, so you must be Rudy, right? You've been drawing me? Oh! <gasps> ah, I'm excited! I'm going to give you exactly the same thing. Here we go! Okay, sir. Clearly, I didn't do a very good job last time. So let's fix that. That one looks pretty promising, but now I don't know. So I'm going to go back and forth all the way. Yeah, no, it's definitely the one over here. It's definitely the one over here. Close enough. I mean, really close enough. There, is that better? I definitely gave him more than the other one. B! I mean, I expected it. I expected it a little bit more that time because I definitely missed. I shook less than Ollie, didn't I, Doc? Liar, come on, Doc. You know I was the best. Bleh. Whatever it was you drank, it's infected you with bacteria. Shigella. This is no joke. Is that real? No, no! This is serious. You've got a disease called Shegelosis, which can get really nasty. Both of you are so contagious. We're going to need to implement hygiene and safety precautions to make sure no one else catches 
No one else on the ward catches your disease. But I've got more than Ollie, right? Have not. Have to. Your diagnosis is exactly the same. Ha. <laughs> Voice. Yes? Yes? You're fixing to die. Forget it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> hey, Finley. Hey, Carl. How's it going? Pretty well, actually. People were sleeping well today. Sandra and I even had time for a round of UCT. UCT? You're in Cup Toss. Is that a thing? Sure, there are even national tournaments. It's a big deal in the nursing community. Sandra and I are on Team Ursula. We've been training. It's one of those things you can only really do at night. But that's not what I came here for. Your razor sharp senses have probably already told you this, but Krakowski isn't here tonight. Thanks to the outstanding seamless planning of the work rotate, there's actually no board supervisor here at all tonight. As the most senior person here, that leaves me in charge of most of the tasks until Dr. Krakowski gets back on shift tomorrow. The meaning of life video games. That doesn't sound so bad. It sure isn't. However, it does mean that I need to sign off on your treatment outcomes. That's a pain, a thankless task. You won't win many friends that way, you know. All right, let's get this over with. I didn't do good today. I did quite bad today. No! I'm a failure! Well, what can I say? All very solid. Not incredible, <laughs> but not disastrous either. I'd say you're doing pretty well for a rookie. I'll put in a good word with Krakowski, try and score you some points with her. So, how was that? Did I sound like Dr. Krakowski? I feel weird. It's okay, Carl. Don't worry about it. This was so much nicer than the lectures I get from Dr. Krakowski. <laughs> All right, I think the rest of the night will be a quiet one. Put your feet up a little. Try to relax. We'll do another quick round before the end of your shift. Then that's it. Let's go chill. What da 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 da? Four hours of sleep, that's better than no hours of sleep. Any sleep is good sleep, that's what I tell myself. I actually slept pretty good last night though. You're confused? Excuse me, can someone help me please? There's water dripping through the ceiling, I'm all wet. That's coming from room P31. Oh no, she's fixing to die! No! No, Irma! Irma, don't get wet, you'll die! Irma, what's going on here? You're soaked to the bone! There you are. I was just lying here and suddenly my blanket was wet. Believe you me, it was quite a relief when I realized it was my own fault. I thought I was really getting decrepit. <laughs> Goodness, it feels like that time our waterbed burst. It was little Guiliano's birthday and he wanted a pirate party. I had no idea he was going to wake us up early wearing his pirate costume. The toy pirate hooks were pretty sharp back in the day, you know? Hold on, just let me push you out of the way here. I'm so sorry about this. I'll take care of it right away. Then I'll get you some new clothes and an extra cozy blanket. Hi, Carl. What's going on here? Carl, it's raining from the ceiling. I can see that. She's just... St we gotta move her. What about Irma? Holy Hoppa, what's going on in here? Sandra, good to see you. I thought you guys were having a party. Can you take care of Mrs. DeCalma? She's in urgent need of fresh clothes and bedding. Sure, no problem, though. I was just about to anyway. Finley, we need to fetch Gregor and let him know. He's been working on the fourth floor ward all day. Let's try there first. Alrighty. Irma, someone's going to come and take care of you right away, okay? Thank you. It's getting a little chilly under this gown. You guys head upstairs. I'll take care of the patient. Luckily, we've got a free bed in 303. Thanks, Sandra. Come on, Finley. Let's go check upstairs. Okay, we better hurry. I don't want to... I didn't bring my swimming shorts. She better move her. She better move her! Here we go. You're gonna finish in 30 minutes, so that okay. Take your time! Let's take the elevator. I like the elevator because it just puts me exactly where I need to be. You love my videos? Thank you for your support! Thank you, thank you! Where be you, Gregor? Are you Gregor? No, you're not Gregor. You're just some guy. Is he this way? He's probably the other way. I feel like I've been running for too long to run into him now. Yep, let's go this way. Wee, wee, wee. Hi, cat. Welcome, cat. <coughs> Here we go. Hello. Oh. There's water in one of the patient's rooms. You don't say, kid. <laughs> Last I checked, they were building a swimming pool on this floor. Don't you think we need to find the cause of it? I'm on it, kid. But if you want to help, go up a floor. To the fifth floor? But it's locked and closed off. Here's the key. Use this to unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Okay. Just don't tell Theobald, okay? 
I'm in enough trouble with him as it is. You go on ahead. I'll be there in a minute. Here we go! Yeah, my stream still have as many active viewers, but that's just... That's life. That's the streaming is. You're always gonna have more subscribers than you do have viewers. Oh! You gotta go to work. Have fun at work! Have all the fun at work. I go to work today, but I go in late. I only have like four hours. What's the matter? Nothing. Everything's okay. What are you waiting for then? I'm not waiting for anything. I'm scared. You're not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. It's just the last time I was up here, I had the accident. That's right, but this time I'm here. I'll look out for you. It's just an ordinary hospital ward, except for the smell, maybe. Yeah, you're right. It's just a ward like all the others. All right, then. Let's go and see where that water's coming from. Aw, thank you, Color Gore. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Yeah, I can read chat. I'm still covered in paint. How sad. Oh, wait, the water was on this side. The water was on this side. Here we go. But, but, but. So we gotta go. Oh, never mind. There's some water right there. You guys are all. In nighttime. It's 11.34 a.m. here. 11.34. Oh, there it is! Hello! Carl, look up there! The pipes burst! I can see that and I can feel it too. <coughs> My clothes are already soaked. How could something like this happen? The whole pipe's basically turned to rust. Well, you've seen for yourself how dangerous it gets up here. This ward's ruined now. Maybe it really was for the rest to just shut it down. What a mildew-infested dump! I've said it time and time again. But no one listens to old Gregor, do they? Even though he's the one who has to handle it every time. Have you seen it, Gregor? Yeah, the heating pipes bust. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Hi, Firestar! Welcome, welcome, welcome! <clears throat> he turned it off. Old Gregor doesn't have it easy. Old Ursula has been through a lot over the last few decades. I do what I can, but I can't be everywhere at once. But when I'm not there, no one takes care of the old lady. And I want the old lady to be alright, even if I don't have the resources, or the time, or the back of a 20-year-old. As long as Gregor is still standing, Ursula will too, alright? Thank you, Mr. Glendower. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. I'll have a look at the pipe over the next few days. Right now, I've got other things to do. Well, it sounds like the hospital's important to him. Could be, I guess. You're pretty hard on him. Why not? We've had our share of arguments. He's never around when you need him. I can't rely on him. Take today, for instance. Who found the broken pipe? We did. Who arranged for repairs when the elevator got stuck? We did. I did. You did. All that old part has to do is slap some tape on it and it's all good. Hmm, if you say so. Everything okay? I don't know, I feel funny. What do you mean, are you sick? No, but I haven't been up here since the accident, so? Well, everything's gone. The desk, the blood, the eerie noises. What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened? Yeah, I do, but wait. How do you know what happened? I was the one who found you up here. Really? Yeah, you and old... Aw, oh, man, Arns. We'll go with Arns. And he's the egg. <clears throat> Oh, <gasps> and you didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Well, two bleeding and unresponsive people lying on the floor isn't exactly what I'd call ordinary. I was looking for arms. Then I heard a bang, so I rushed up here straight away. I actually thought you couldn't get up here anymore, but it looks like I was wrong. You two clearly managed it. I dragged you both to the door. Then Demi and Archie helped me carry you. You're lucky they happened to be in the stairwell. They were looking to grab a cup of coffee. For someone so small, you're pretty heavy, you know that? Did you see anything else? Was there anyone else here? Finley, it was just the two of you, half buried under a load of boxes, I promise. Why would I lie to you? This ward's a disaster area. That's why it was shut down a few years ago. Now it's just for storage. Everyone dumps their junk here. No one really looks after it. It was only a matter of time before someone got hurt. Mr. Arns ended up here by mistake. He was very confused. He pulled out his drip and then merrily started bleeding all over the place. He probably tripped over his own tubes or bumped his head. And when he went after him, the whole pile of junk collapsed in on itself. Oh man. Yeah, it was quite a mess. Want to head back downstairs? Sure thing. Yeah, in a minute. I've got one more question. What happened here? Why is the ward closed? Look at it. This is a huge ward. We could use the space. St. Ursula's has a long history. This used to be the internal one, our ward. I spent my first few years at the hospital up here. That was a long time ago. 
At some point, they realized the damp was getting into the walls. Hospital management decided to close the board. The staff even held a vote, and most of us were in favor. They said they'd fix it up again once they had the money. As you can see, that hasn't happened yet. Hi, be scared. Welcome. Hi, Black Hole. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. <coughs> it's a sheep. I'm a pigeon. I see. Do you think they'll ever get the word up and running again? It'd be a shame if they just left it here to rot. It wouldn't head on it. We've basically gotten used to it over the years. And it gives folks a place to dump their old junk. Hmm. Can we go back downstairs, though? I've still got a few more things to do today. Sun's going to come up soon, too. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and Carl? Well, no. Hey. Thanks for hauling me down from here after the accident. That must have been hard work. You bet your sweet butt it was. I don't think Carl did, though. You're lucky I'm such an athlete. I'm suspicious of Carl. Am I done with work? I responded to your comment saying it's gonna be done in 30 minutes multiple times, but you kept spamming it, so I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, almost all the boxes are unpacked, but I still need to do a few chores. The way things have been, I'll never get around to it during the week. Weird. Why am I excited about having time to clean? Time changes, I guess. I got a ball now. That's new. And my laundry hamper. Ham hamper. Hamper. Oh. Welcome. You're not late. You're not late. What do I do? Wait, wait, chores? Hello, sir. Oh! Do you need water? Oh, you don't look so good. Maybe you just need a nice long drink. Wait here, I'll take care of it. Okay! Tap doesn't work. It was like that when I moved in. I made a call and they told me the downspout was clogged. My landlady promised she'd take care of it. She just didn't say when. Oh well, I'll just take a cup with me. I better get the water from the bathroom. I don't want that goo coming up out of the drain again. And a classy drink requires a classy receptacle. Let's give my plant some drink. The ingredients are water. Yeah, that's it. Here you go, sir. Oh. Here you go, sir! One Finley special with super mega plant cocktail coming right up fresh from the tap. Bon appetit. Just make sure you get a taxi home, okay? Now he's gonna be all healthy. Oh, phone call. Good morning, sunshine. Are you ready for a super awesome day out? Sure am. Oh, I skipped it. Chores. I thought it was your day off today. It is, but I'll never find time otherwise. You want to become a VTuber? Do I have any advice? Um, Get a free or cheap model before and stream with that before you pay for your own. That's the best advice I can give anyone who wants to start out. A stream as a VTuber before you get your own custom VTuber model. So I get the Jenny model get. And there's another one that I don't know the name of that everyone's using now. There's heckin'. There's Vroid. Stuff like that. Look into that before you look into spending all the money. Because you don't want to spend a bunch of money on something that you might not like. PNG models. Yes, PNGs. If you want your own custom one, get a PNG. Get a PNG. Remembering to water the plant. You have to just take care of that. Promise? Yes. You'd better not be lying to me. I can sense when my plants are dehydrated. I'm still holding the glass in my hand. Use a glass to water your plant? Sure, what's wrong with that? My plants get only the best water from the finest vessels. My watering can costs as much as my car. You don't think you're maybe exaggerating a bit? Maybe, but it was really, really expensive. Anyway, I'm all packed and ready to go. Why don't you come over to my store, then we'll head out. What are we going to be doing? I'll tell you when we get there. Just tell me. I can't hear you! Come on. Oh, I think the recept- No, signal! Got- She hung up on me. I wanna go in the woods with someone if I didn't know what we were going to be doing in said woods. And to be an independent VTuber? Yeah! It doesn't take that- It's a very low entry barrier to being a VTuber. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, you need to get the model, but after that, that's that's basically it. And you can get, like, a, a PNG model. And you can get, 
a free model, a cheap, like, a customizable but not custom model. There's a bunch of other resources. So the entry barrier for VTubing is at, like, an all-time low. And please don't spam comments. Please. Okay, I read them. I promise. I promise. Even if I can't respond to every single person individually, I do see your comments, guys. I promise. A hair salon. I don't like going to the hair salon and being sat in front of the window and then you're just staring at people and they're staring at... Oh, it's me. They're staring at you and it's like, uh. VTube Studio? Yeah, I use VTube Studio for my tracking. There you are, sleeper. Like a wet log. VTube Studio is going to be what pretty much all of the major indies use. The company ones sometimes have their own proprietary, like, custom tracking. But indies are all going to use VTube Studio. What? A water pipe burst during my night shift. Ah, oh, Mother Nature will restore your strength. I can already hear her call. Let's go. Ready to go? Yay, fasten your seatbelt. To the woods. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, the smell of pine needles, fresh air, sunshine, everything a person needs. They got a car, true, but it also makes this person hungry. You don't have any snacks, do you? Maybe in a little work, too. Over the weekend, in the woods? Of course, the woods don't take weekends, you know. And as a florist, the countryside is my office. I thought this was going to be a fun trip. It will be! He said he wanted to show me something. What is it? You'll see. You've lived in Porcupine for close to a month now. The time has come. Time? For what? Pina. The weather forecast said there'd be thunderstorms today. We'd better hurry. You go on ahead. That par that's part of the tradition. But I don't even know where to go. There aren't that many paths. And if you're too slow, I'll take the lead. Let's go. Wee! You gonna shower? <gasps> Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. For picnic. Yeah, let's go have a picnic. What? What? Ominous. I don't think it's ominous. I don't think she's like gonna pull a 180 and attack us or anything. And even then, I'm a pigeon. Can't I just fly away? Wee! Oh, it's got a cute little waterfall. <gasps> How cute! Here we go. Finley! What's going on? What do you mean? I thought we wanted to speed things up a bit. Are we not? Not enough. Don't fall asleep. What do you mean? What do you mean? Ma'am. Wait, did she go this way? You can't go that way. You can't go that way. The art is so pretty in this game. It's so cute. I think we might be able to finish this game today. I heard that it's, um... Not the longest game ever, and we got a couple hours in last week. Hello, sir. So I feel like we might make some good progress today. Okay, Pina, this isn't funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, great joke. You can come out now. She just ditched me. What's going on here? Ah, oh, so creepy. So creepy. You see? What are these creepy figurines? Pina, this is exactly why you don't go in the woods with someone and have them just ditch you. Where'd you go? Especially after my tragic accident in the hospital. What the? Hello? I'm warning you. I'm not alone. I've got a knife! I'm fixing to stab her. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Pina, there you are! Too bad I don't have a mirror with me. You should see your face! <laughs> da, da, da. That was funny. My heart almost left out of my chest. As a medical professional, you should know that's very unlikely. Unlikely, yes, never happened before. I wouldn't be so sure. Where did you go? I was only a few feet behind you, then suddenly you were gone. I thought I'd never get out of here alive. Come on, Finio, don't be so dramatic. I found a plant and had to dive into the shrubbery for a moment. Yeah, alright. Did you pick it? The plant? No way! I just marveled at it. There was hardly any rain this summer. Even today, it's still surprisingly warm. You don't have to be a genius to see that. You just have to look at the plant! Did you guys see that? The Five Nights at Freddy's trailer came out? Alright, but next time, let me know if you're going to run off, okay? I promise! <laughs> Seriously, though. 
What are these creepy figurines? <laughs> Don't tell me you put them up just to scare me. I wish. If I had the time to make things like this just to scare you, I would have a lot of spare time. And believe me, I would use it to scare you. You're not far wrong, though. What do you mean? Well, the figurines. I did actually make them. Some of them, at least. Are you serious? What for? These are memorial figurines. How creepy. This is what I wanted to show you. I figured you hadn't heard about them yet. As a matter of fact, I hadn't. Why are they here? Porcupine is an old town. Several centuries old, in fact. And whenever someone dies in Porcupine, we place a memorial figurine for them here. We're gonna see the old lady pop up, ain't we? Oh, man. That way people can come to the woods to visit those who have passed. How creepy. How absolutely creepy. I inspired you to become a VTuber. What? Ah, I wish you all of the luck and success in your endeavors. <clears throat> it's quiet here. Peaceful. And scary. This is where people come when they miss their loved ones. I see. I'm the only florist in Porcupine. I'm good with all plants. And I'm not bad with my hands, either. I've taken on a few jobs around town, but this is the one I like the most. That's actually quite sad, in a way. Don't you find it depressing? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh no, it's just a small town, and I have to know the people who've died. Sometimes I can see it coming, that I'm going to be making a memorial figurine for someone soon, but sometimes the order comes as a complete surprise. One day, I bump into an old lady at the bakery next door. She's friendly, in a good mood, hot cappuccino in her hand. Then the next day, she's a wooden memorial figurine on my counter, that's so bad! But I love the job all the same. My favorite character is Freddy. I get to create a memorial for some people I cared about. And the family are grateful to have a place to visit. I'm very proud of that. I, I had no idea. It's a really important job. A hard one, too. I guess. But enough of my rambling. Now you know why we're here. And why I wanted to bring you with me. Now you really are part of Porcupine. I see. So what now? Is there anything I need to do? Are you going to make me a figurine like that, too? Of course not. Don't be so disrespectful. My backpack's full of branches, yarn, and flowers. You know I don't just make the figurines. I also come here regularly and take care of them. And today you have the great honor of helping me. You want me to repair these figurines? I'm not good with my hands. Cause he's got wings. You're kidding, right? You spend all day snipping and cutting away at your patient. Not, I, I don't do very good at it. I'm an internal medicine. You've never seen my wound dressing skills, have you? Internal, schminternal, blah, blah, blah. Hi, Alec, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Besides, who's going to complain? Unlike the people in your ward, these ones are already dead. <gasps> now who's being disrespectful? There are figurines all over the woods. The town's been around for a while. Like I said, I'll give you some branches to fix up the figurines with. Here we go. So how do I find the broken figurines? Ooh, good question. There's no set rules or instructions for that. The Glow Milk Woods dance to their own tune. Just keep your eyes and ears open. You'll find the figurines, all right? We'll meet up again once you're done. You're not going to help? Of course I am. I'm going to search for them as well. But I haven't been here for a while, so there's probably a lot to do. If we don't split up, we'll never get finished today. And it does feel like it's going to rain soon. Come on, it'll be fun. Good luck, fellow figurine finder. Here we go. Why does she always have to run off? Gotta fix up the broken memorial statues. I feel like the pigeon. I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be the next figurine. I feel like it's gonna be Irma. There's no reason that they would put that in if there wasn't a dead body. Like not a dead body, but a death coming up soon. And Irma, she's got pneumonia. She got all wet. And ain't you not supposed to get wet with no pneumonia? Doesn't pneumonia, like, if you get wet with it, isn't that really bad for you? I think so. I think so. I mean, I don't have pneumonia, so I wouldn't know. But it's like fluid in your lungs. Are you broken, sir? You look a little, you look a little raggedy. There you go. There you go. You're gonna leave. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. It's got like a little platformer bit. Wee! <laughs> Through the woods! Hello, sir. You're looking a little raggedy, too. There you go! Gotta go the other way now. The other way! 
And they're all looking fine. Oh, these guys are in a circle. How creepy. But, 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 but. This seems dangerous, especially since aren't I still recovering from my head injury? I feel like I shouldn't be like uh, hurting my head like this. Have I played Warframe? I played it yesterday. For a little bit, not a whole long time, not gonna lie. But I played a little bit of Warframe yesterday. I'm too short for that. What is this way? I'm too short for a lot of this. Oh, hello, sir. You're looking broken. Oh, the sticks disappeared. Am I all done? Perhaps I am. But, but, but. Can I take a shower? Have fun. Showering is important. When I was in high school, I didn't shower as often as I should have. So don't be like me, guys. That was gross. I was gross. Hello. This is new, right? Maybe, maybe. I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. I guess. Let's go this way. Oh no, you have to go to a funeral. I'm sorry to hear about that. Oh. And then he got a bu full bucket of paint on his head. Oh. Who's that? Her dad. Luckily, he wasn't here, but it looked so funny. Peanut. Yikes! Oh, Finley, not bad. You made me jump a little there. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. Were you just talking to someone? Yeah, that's true. I come here sometimes, too. And this one right here? That's my brother. Oh. I was just telling my brother about the paint bucket thing. I didn't know you had a brother. How could you? I've never told you before. Actually, he's my twin brother. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's been a few years. We always got into the best scrapes together. Looked out for each other. The plant store was his idea too. Then one day, he was diagnosed with leukemia. By the time we found out, it was already too late. He spent some time at St. Ursula's. I don't know what to say. It was for the best. And it was over quickly in the end. It wasn't easy for him, but eventually he was able to let go. I made his figurine too, of course. That must have been hard. The hardest one I've ever made, but the most beautiful too. How depressing. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about this. It's raining now though. I'm sure I'd have liked him too. I know you would. You can come here with me again sometime if you like. Then you can have a chat with him. But now we need to go. I told you it was going to rain. All right, I'm getting pretty hungry too. She never even fed me. And take care of yourselves. I'll check back with you soon. All right, no fighting now. I love you. Rain. I love rain. You fell into a box, which... No, you can't fall into a box. That's bad for you. Are you okay? <laughs> da -da! Look at my little eyeball. Hello? Huh? Hello? Finley, you're awake! Please come quickly, I need help. Pina? What? What's wrong? Finley, please come to the store quick, I... What does she need from me? Pina? Pina, are you there? Oh no, I'd better get over there and check on her. Is she good? Is she good? Here we go. Yeah, 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 it is similar to Night in the Woods. I think it was inspired. Hi, Faye! Hi! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yes, uh, it's supposed to be like Night in the Woods inspired. But this one's called Fall of Porcupine. It's about a pigeon becoming a doctor. Here I go. Let's go see what she wants from me. Did it just teleport? Oh no! That's broken! Oh no! I don't know why what she thinks I'm gonna do about this. I don't know what she thinks I'm gonna do about this. The car's upside down. There's a whole memorial around me? Wait. What's going on here? Was that Pina? Wait, wait, wait. Martial arts sounds fun though, Alec. Hello? Um, this does not look the way it did before. How, how, am I, I'm dreaming. This is a dream. Pina? 
It can't be. It just can't be. Wait, there's blood on the watering can! Wait, 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 I don't think there's anything else for me to interact with in here. Wait, what's in here? What's in here? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Pina! Mia, where are you at? Carl? I'm just yelling names. Where are you? Why am I alone? I hope you're all okay. I'm dreaming. It's not real. It can't be. What's going- okay. Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Let's see what's going on over- oh, hello. Yeah, Dr. Krakowski, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What am I going to do with you, Finley? If you carry on like this, I don't see a future for you! <laughs> if you carry on like this, I don't see a future for a lot of people. Have you taken care of it yet? Taken care of what? I can't keep repeating myself, and I can't keep holding your hand all the time. People are going to die, Finley, and it won't be all your fault, but... Go to work, your shift's about to begin. I'll hurry and I will work hard. Chop chop. This is why I couldn't be a doctor. Oh, look, there's all of the statues. I'm having a rough time. I'm traumatized. Mr. Finley is going through it. Oh, look, I'm floating. <laughs> he looks so funny. Oh. Spooky noises. Can I not take the elevator? I want to take the elevator. I don't know what, what floor I work on. Maybe I'll just teleport me up. Oh! <laughs> Look at me go. Is it this one? Not this one. Oi! Is it this one? Not this one. I want to say it's number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be number four because when I when I went up to number five, I only went up one staircase. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just getting above the water, ain't I? Wee. Hello? Gregor? Sir? Sir? I've said it time and time again, nobody ever listens to old Gregor, but Gregor is the one who has to do it every time. He's a bad guy now. What are you doing? <laughs> There's no point, Gregor. Leave it. The whole place is about to fall apart. The pipes, the walls, the electrics, the pipes, the walls, the electrics, the elevator, the patients. There's nothing old Gregor can't fix. We can handle this. Gregor, stop. The patients! Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Sir? Hey, Alia! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Oh, no! It's just like before. See? Oh, better, oh, better, I told you. <gasps> My plant! No! <laughs> My baby! Oh no! The plant didn't make it! I'm sorry, my friend, I should've taken you off the windowsill. I hope Pina will let me buy another. I'd better clear you away. It wouldn't be right to leave you laying here all day. Besides, I'm not sure potting soil on park wet floors are the best of friends. My baby! All done! It feels empty without the flower. No! I'm so sad. Pina. Give me another one. Hello! Oh, I don't have to talk to you, so I, I won't. I just won't. I'm not a conversation-y person. I don't want to talk to people. It said we completed the first act. I'll walk, I'll walk, I'll walk. I do want to, I do want to see if Pina's there. You're back! Welcome back! The banner so is done! I'm excited to see it. I don't know why the bottom one's called the high road. Or high street. Maybe it's high street not because it's high, but because it's got expensive shops on it. Like the cloud district. Is that the cloud district is or is it like housing? It might be housing. Hey Franklin, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
And here we go. Ma'am, we're almost there. We're almost there. Hello? Are you here? Is she here? Hi. Hey, Finbert. Freshly showered, I see. You can say that again. Quite a lot of rain got in. Is all your stuff all right? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, what happened? The plant you gave me. I fell off the window so last night. I'm sorry. Hmm. Don't worry about it, Finley. It's a shame about the plant, of course, but it's not your fault. All you did was give it the best spot in the apartment. You couldn't know it was going to end up being so hazardous. You're not mad? No, of course not. I'm afraid I don't have a suitable plant in at the moment. But if I can, I promise I'll get you a new one. Okay. Everything's a bit of a mess here, too, after last night. The first thing I'm going to do is get everything straightened out again. And I need to get to the hospital. I hope everything's all right there. It's not going to be. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. And once again... Lonely nighttime never ends. The constant pack of cigarettes I suck into my stale cracked breath. I don't know the words. Not gonna lie. I barely know the words. But that's okay. <laughs> Your mom's afraid of dogs? I don't like taking care of dogs because they're too high maintenance. They need too much from you all the time. Thank you so much for stopping by, Julio. Thank you, thank you. I prefer cats because they just are chill. They chill and they go, meow, meow, ma'am, hello. Hey, Mia, this must be the first time I've bumped into you just out in the street. I think you're right. I wanted to go shopping before I work. Besides, I love the air when it rains. It really fires up my senses, you know? All right, well, don't let me keep you. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Yep, see you soon. She's shopping. I'm doing quite well today. I do have work today, though, guys. I don't know why, but it's fine. I go in for, guess what, y'all? I go in for a whole four hours. What a long shift, right? I work no time. No time. But, you know, I need to work for money because I got bills. Bills to pay. So I gotta go to work. I'm still so sad about my paycheck only being $200. What even is that? Y'all. And I know it's because I started like in the middle, right? Of the pay period. So you know how it goes like the week that you get paid and then the week after and that's your pay period. I started the day that you got paid. So I ended up only getting like three days worth of pay. Not even three days. No, more than three days. I... I'm poor, essentially. Yeah. Am I in the wrong spot again? Wait, wait, wait. Damn, we have this problem last time. No, 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 no. We're, we're good, we're good. We just gotta go this way. You gotta take your dog out and walk. Have fun! I'm happy with just my cats as pets. Other animals are so high maintenance. I just can't do it. I do have to do laundry though, which is kind of high maintenance. But I'll do it later. I bought some instant ramen that I'm gonna eat for lunch too, guys. I got, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. I got the kimchi ramen, which is always a heckin' winner. But if, when I get the kimchi ramen, I have to get the, uh, the cup version rather than the packet version because the packet version is spicier than the cup version what's the brand hey did i start there's a general meeting in the cafeteria i'm going i'm going um what's it called it's uh the same as like the the other one the like black garlic whatever Yeah, it's kimchi ramen, and it's really heckin' yummy. But if you buy the packets, it's too spicy, so you gotta buy the bowls. Hello! Uh, uh, hello? Hey, you're here already. Yeah, my shopping didn't take too long, and then I got the bus right here. Any idea why I've been called here? I think it's about the damage from the storm. Did you see the huge chunks of rubble laying around outside? Yeah, do you think that's why they've called us 
uh, called us all together like this? Do they want us to clear the rubble away together? Perhaps, hopefully, that's the worst that's happened. Maybe the building's unstable if that were too. Don't you think we'd be having this meeting outside? You're right. I, you're right there, I guess. Again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Oh, I think it's starting. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Uh, I'm sure it won't be too bad. The last time I went to a, jo a meeting at my job, my previous job, I wasn't in a department where I had to go to the meetings because I wasn't merchandise, right? But I was in the area. So I was walking past. After everyone spoke, you know what they did? They Should I stand up and do it? Hold on. This is the only job meetings I've ever been to. But every time someone said something, so they would say like, we're getting a new product. They would stomp twice, they would clap twice, and they would put their hands up to their mouth and go, woo! Every single time someone said something. Every single time. Stomp, stomp, clap, 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 woo! And I'm just like, okay, so I left. I didn't stay for that. But now every time I hear job meeting, that's what I think of. <laughs> oh. Cinnamon bread, that sounds yummy. Yeah, it was wild. Oh, now I got hiccup skies. Oh no, it was the woos. Thank you all for coming. I realize we're all very busy, so I'll be brief. First of all, you know there's Dr. Theobald isn't joining us for this meeting. There's been a lot of going on today, and our chief physician has a few matters to attend to. As such, I'll be speaking on his behalf today. As you may have noticed, certain irregularities occurred in the hospital building last night. I understand there is some concern. I gotta get a drink. I gotta get a drink. It was heckin' cult behavior. Oh my goodness. It was the worst job ever. And then... The way that the HR lady called me and was like, beg for your job back? Like, no! It's retail! I do miss the money, though. Not gonna lie. Especially since... Okay, okay, okay. So, they paid me... Should we just do math? It won't let me see my paste tub. It's not processed yet. Okay, so I think I make like 12 an hour right now. So I've got five, six, seven, eight. So that's four hours, but then I've got three. That's six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's six. So let's just go six to 18. 24. So I work about 25 hours, right? A week. Let's just say 25 hours a week. Um, so 25 times two would be 50. 50 times 12.4. That means my paychecks are gonna be so low. Ah, why am I poor? Oh man. That's okay, that's okay. I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that the damage does not pose a danger to either the people or the building they're in. I've already received an assessment and the damage is only superficial, so it's not all that bad, right? I don't trust this guy. Nevertheless, this incident will once again draw the eyes and ears to us. St. Ursula's has come under repeated criticism in recent months. This incident, small as it is, could stoke our critics' fires. With that in mind, on behalf of St. Ursula's, I would ask you expressly, if a person or member of the press asks you about the damage, please refrain from making any statements and come straight to us. You're poor too. We're all poor. The hospital was damaged. In such times, clear and unambiguous communication with the wider porcupine community is essential. We will be happy to answer any questions you have at any time. But for now, let's get back to work. I've taken up enough of your time already. Time that should be dedicated to our valued patients. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day, okay? And the hospital was damaged, and we got a in a storm, and we just had a nightmare about the hospital too, and about everyone dying. Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Look at him go! <laughs> He's carrying his little beak. That's so bad. <laughs> no, poor guy. He's just trying to do his best. 
Here we go. We gotta get up to my ward. I'm gonna take the elevator. But we love elevators here. I have never been one to be scared of elevators. I know that it's like a common fear, but I don't really get that. You know? I don't like escalators, though. Hello! Dr. Krakowski! There you are! Where else would I be? I do run this ward, after all. Well, I didn't see you at the general meeting. No meeting is important enough to leave our patients unattended. I already spoke to Dr. Theobald this morning, so I know what's happening. And I would ask you to comply with the instructions of the management. We need to do our part to ensure that everyone here can do their work in peace. Speaking of work, I've updated your file. I wish you a productive shift. Here we go! What's our schedule for today? Is it a cupcake on my head? No, it's not a cupcake. It's the top of the queen's chess piece. Because I am the queen chess piece. Ah. Hello. Hey, Rudy. How are you today? How's the self-inflicted food poisoning going? I'm feeling better, but I almost threw up again when the hospital started shaking last night. Can you keep it down, please? My head. He's just jealous because I'm fit and healthy again. I'm telling you, Doc, it was like an earthquake. When the roof came down, everyone jumped out of their beds to see what was going on. It was sick. I bet. It's a good thing you're not so sick anymore. Totally. I even had breakfast this morning. That sounds good. Still take it easy and stay in your beds, okay? Sure. It's just like so boring here. I want to sleep. All right, let's take a look at your readings. I think we can adjust your medication already. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, this one's easier. Okay, I can do this. Okay, we can do that one. And then... There we go, there we go, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that five, two, three, four, five, okay. There you go, sir, I can do this one, I can do this one. I got an A. Today is gonna be different, a better day. Excellent, we've got that bacteria under control. We'll give you some medication, but I think you can go home tomorrow. You're not infectious anymore either. If you can keep yourself out of trouble for a few weeks, you'll be back to full health in no time. Oh, did you hear that, Ollie? I won again. Leave me alone, okay? Oh no, Ollie's still sick. Take it easy and try and get some more sleep on it. Here we go. Um, are you good, sir? Is everything okay? Feel so sick. Can't keep anything down. My head and stomach are so bad. You don't sound too good. I'll give you the same shot I gave you yesterday, okay? This should get the Shigella back under control. Sure. Do what you can. In the pollen raid, was that when we raided it kill you? That was fun. That was such a time. There you go, sir. There you go. Hi, Lizzy Fox. Hi, hi. Did I get a B again? <gasps> no way, I got an A! I did it! Everything hurts. It looks like your Shigella hasn't died down yet. Your body's still fighting it. Ouch. Come on. Don't be so dramatic about it, Alinator. Ali? He's not being dramatic. Your brother needs to stay here until his readings improve. But he's gonna die. Get some rest, okay? Ali, try to sleep. We'll do another checkup later, okay? Okay. Let's go check on the lady. Let's go check on the lady. Because she's the one that I'm most certain isn't gonna make it. There's Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna go. That's just the name of the game, right? But who will it be? Hello, Finley. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, thank you, a little stormy. How do you like the new room? Well, I missed the waterfall a little, but now it's raining cats and dogs in front of my window, so that's something. That must have been the storm. Strange, isn't it? When the sun's shining, water drips from the ceiling, but when a real storm comes, the building stays pretty dry. Yes, yeah, kind of ironic, isn't it? Do you know if the hospital has dust trolls by any chance? Dust trolls? I don't believe I've heard of those. I'd be happy to enlighten you. I don't want to listen to your stories. I'm sorry. Oh dear, that sounds stressful, but I understand. I can feel Dr. Krakowski's sharp gaze through my walls. Shall we take a look at your lungs? I was hoping my story would captivate you enough to make you forget the work, but I can see there's no getting around it. I'm a little exhausted anyway. I'd like to rest my eyes for a spell. I'll make it quick then. Okay, here we go. Wait, I forgot how to do this. Ah! 
I'm a bad doctor. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, you're going to die. My bad. I'm sorry, <laughs> that didn't help me. <gasps> Maybe you'll feel better tomorrow. <laughs> I'm such a bad doctor, no. <laughs> you need to drink a lot so your mucous membranes can defend themselves. Yeah, Erwin, just drink some water. You'll be fine. <gasps> Once my son's been to visit, I'll lie down straight away, I promise. My bad. It's my real voice. As soon as he didn't manage to come by yesterday, I'm sure he'll be here soon. And don't worry, you'll be back on your feet in no time. Yeah, I don't use a voice changer. Um, I'm actually a guy using a voice changer to sound like a girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no voice changes here. Hello! My favorite character, I like Finley. I think he's a little goofy. <laughs> oh, done! <laughs> Excellent, right, let's see. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing a good job, but I failed Irma. I failed her so badly. I'm sorry, Irma. Thank you, Finley. No problem. The work was much easier when the weather is so bad. Take care, Finley. You must have sensed how tense the atmosphere is here. Sometimes the weather is a reflection of people's moods. What are your thoughts on the situation? That's no concern of yours at the moment. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Just be on your toes, more so than usual. Will do. Thanks for the heads up. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Is that it? Am I done? Is my work day over? I don't know. It lets me use the elevator, so let's see where it drops me off at. Here I go! No more work! Good night. Is that it? No anecdotes? No wisecracks? No nothing? Not today, kid. I'm tired. Oh. Well, good night then, Ingrid. How long have I been on this live? It's been an hour and 17 minutes. Since I hit the go live button. Probably like a couple minutes less for y'all. There you are. Have you two been waiting for me? Yes. Me and I have been speaking. There's a really weird vibe here today. We want to go over to Gilbert's and talk about it. Oh, I'd love to come. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chilly out. Okay, so we learned last time. And don't play the game because it takes a really long time. Sir. He's looking a little rough. So we're not gonna we're not gonna play the the taverny game. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth the time commitment. You just got here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. You have a sleep paralysis demon named Jerry. Tell him I say hi. We go down, right? I think it's just a little hump. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Does my voice sound different? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hello, sir! Hey, you three. Can I get you a coffee? Not for me, thanks. What about you two? I'm more in the mood for a beer. And I'm afraid I've not been sleeping well the last few days. I think I need to give up caffeine. Oh, well, worth a shot. Come by again sometime. I have the best coffee in all of Porcupine, sir. Shout out to that trailers. How am I doing today? I'm doing quite well today. I got the green tea with ginseng and honey today as my drink. I thought I still had lemonade teas left, so I got the green tea instead. But it turns out I didn't have any of the lemonade teas left, so now I'm a little bit sad. But that's okay. I will recover somehow. Hello, sir. Hey, you three, you're all soaked. 
Hey, Guiliano, we need a drink. Stat, it'd be my pleasure to sit down and warm yourselves up. There's a free table back there. We'll take that one. No problem. What can I get you? I'd like... Surprise me. That's what I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> sure, coming right up. Make yourselves at home. I'll bring it over. Here we go. Oh, Jerry says hi. Yay. Mmm, that's stuff. How do you like your drink, Finley? Do I have a little... What is it? Is it like a little Shirley Temple? I see cherries. That's what I like to hear. So what do you think? But it's also blue, so I don't think so. About today, I mean... We don't normally have general meetings like that. Only when something really important happens. Like when a person or a body part disappears. Or if someone loses the key to the medicine storeroom. Those are just made up examples, right? Anyway. It's an old building. Bits fall off now and then. One year we had so much snow we thought the roof was going to cave in. What did you do? Nothing at all at first. We were on call. If, I had, if it had gotten worse, we'd have evacuated the hospital. There's a contingency plan for things like this. We'd have driven everyone over to the school gym hall. Why there? It's big, it's empty, plenty of power outlets, good access for the ambulances. So I call a general meeting over a bit of rubble. The roof's still intact? And this kind of thing happens in a storm sometimes. It's getting more and more common, especially in recent years. Maybe we should ask Dr. Theobald about it. Yeah, we could do that. We could also not. These guys look important. Get a load of this, Patrick. That's our table. What are these losers doing there? I was about to ask the same thing, Ralph. Disrespectful, you ask me. You said it. I know you three goons. You work over in the hospital, right? Ah, and little Carly's back again. Still recovering from our last little chat, huh? What do you want? We want an apology. An apology? That's right. Patrick had an accident a few weeks ago. Got hit by some stupid woman bus. Oh, dang. <laughs> If I didn't have such quick reflexes, I'd be stone dead right now. We're sorry. Sounds like you got lucky. It could have been a lot worse. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Tell him, Patrick. Well, I didn't get away completely unscathed, of course. I had a deep wound on my arm and needed stitches. But instead of treating it properly, the hospital just stitched it up and sent me straight back home. Two days later, it was like it was on fire. You can't imagine the pain. I had to take antibiotics. I can still feel it now. Yeah, and it's your fault, you bunglers. Well, we're very sorry, of course. That was a me. Over to the right. Do you want to see the other guy? But that's what he looks like. I'll read it so I'm not blocking it. But these things happen. Oh, I suppose I could go all the way for the conversation. Wah! These things happen. You aren't the ones who treated you. We don't work in the surgery. Believe us, we do our best for every sick or injured person that comes to us. And so do the staff in surgery. I'm 20 years old. Complications can happen. It's not ideal, but it's not uncommon either. Ha, huh, you hear that? It's their fault you're chronically handicapped. What? But uh, you're not listening, right, Ralph? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Now I'm the liar. You'd say that. I'll tell you what. We should shut that place down, throw all those idiots out, and tear the whole dump down, but then there would be no hospital. Is some hospital better than no hospital, even if it's a bad hospital? If you aren't all so lousy at your jobs, my wife wouldn't have been dead for the past five years. And now you're messing with my best friend, too? And like that's not enough, you get to pocket all the insurance money as well while we work our butts off day after day. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. What's up? Did you choke on your silver tongue? I know a good hospital for that. But it ain't in this town. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, look, the little cotton swab does talk after all. What did you say? Say it again. It's real loud in here, don't you think? I'm sorry about what happened to your wife, but these two didn't have anything to do with it. You know that. But what you don't know is how hard we try. Every day, every night, sometimes you don't even get a chance to sleep. So come on, let us enjoy what, just one night out together, okay? They don't care. Well, I accept your apology. But that still doesn't make up for the damage done to my friend. Let's see now. How about you pay our tab for a year? That should cover it. You just won't let it go, will you? Maybe I should give you a smack in the mouth. Wouldn't it be the first time? Just try it, wise guy. Carl, don't. Don't be stupid. Ooh, you must be the boss around here. Bet you like ordering folks around, huh? That's it. Time to crack some skulls. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my crowd. I'm scared. It's good. Wait, no! No, don't make me do this. 
I'm a good, I'm a good person. I don't fight people. You're not letting him get away with that. Time to wipe that grin off Ralph's face. Each fighter can attack. It's a Mori! Abilities. Anesthesia. I'm gonna anesthesia him. Did it not work? Nothing happened. That's cool. I'll just punch him instead. I'm not entirely sure. Donald Trump Boris Johnson hybrid. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll just get Rowdy Ralph done first. But he's gone. Where do I live? You'll never know. You'll never know. Did that restore health? Yeah, it did. It did. There we go. Da -da. These guys really don't have very much health, do they? My one complaint is that a lot of the... About this game is that a lot of the... Uh, the cutscenes... Not cutscenes, but like little activities like this. Some of them take a really long time. Like longer than they should. This is like Pokemon. Hi, Tia! Welcome! Jerry's being rude and ugly. Tell him to stop that. Tell him to fix his attitude. We did it. He is fixing to get fired from his job, though. I don't think you can just beat people up and keep your job. Ouch. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, let's be careful. Can you see my buddy's hurt? That's right. Gravely injured. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Just look at those two. There's nothing wrong with them. Look at me, you don't see me complaining, do you? Calm down, fix, fix yourself. And come on, Carl, calm down. You want me to calm down? Did you hear the way that jerk was talking about us? I know, I'm angry too, but we're only playing into his hands if we start fighting now. Oh. Ah! Breathe, Carl. Better? Better. Let's call it a night. It's probably better if we all go to bed. See you tomorrow? Yeah, sleep well. And Carl, you need to put some ice on that. Yeah, yeah. One of those guys is gonna be my patient tomorrow, and then he's gonna yell at me. Bedtime! Back to my apartment without my plant because it died. How sad. What a night. I can't wait to go to bed. Sleepy time! I should've had- Oh, you're right! I should've- I should've been mad during the fight. Rah! Rah! <laughs> it's morning. Oh, I'm looking a little rough. I had a rough night out. Here we go. Jerry looks like a deer, a tall deer. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. Can I take the bus? I don't want to walk anymore. My leggies are getting tired. They're getting sleepy. Oh, I forgot about Pina. I'll, I'll go tomorrow then. I'll go tomorrow and see if she's got plants. Wee! The statue's still standing. Hello, sir. Mr. Money, don't you want to go inside? You're getting soaked here. No, leave me alone, you scoundrel. I'm not going back in there. It's filled with murderous, backstabbing fiends. All just up for my money. Okay. Fair enough. Have you ever done a live with another VTuber? A long, long, long time ago. Why aren't there more people watching? Because it's a live stream. <laughs> a lot of people don't watch live streams and they prefer to just watch my VODs or even just watch my shirts, which is okay. Morning, kiddo. Good morning. Is it? I'm not. Oh, I've got a message for you. Dr. Theobald wants to see you in his office. And before your shift starts, too. 
He didn't look too happy. What? Why? I don't know. Maybe because you got in a bar fight. Best let him tell himself. Good luck, kiddo. Where's his office at? Oh, no. There's our office. Is the art is so cute. Yeah, they're at school. They're sleeping. Living their lives. Watching other live streams. There's so many things. The door is locked. Looks like Mr. Hyder. That's not his office. Hello? Here we go. Here we go. Drink drag queens. That sounds fun. Oh, I knew it. We're in trouble. Hello. Ah, there you are, Finley. Mia. Carl. Thank you for coming. Is this Theobald? I thought it was the Badger. We all have a lot to do, so I'll get right to the point. We've heard about what happened last night. Carl was only defending himself. It was a personal matter. I had nothing to do with this. Unfortunately, we don't quite see it that way. Personal matters can also have an impact on your job. But Dr. Theobald, you weren't there. <laughs> I'm not going to be the fall guy just because this place is coming apart at the seams. That's enough. Do I remember you? Yeah, I remember you because you your name. Like, the format of your name is very recognizable. Very recognizable. What time is it for me? It's 12 o'clock. I've already spoken to Dr. Krakowski and Mr. Heidrich. I don't like to do this, but under the current circumstances, we need to show that such actions come with consequences. Carl, you're on leave until further notice. Sorry, what? You deserve it a little bit. A little distance ought to do you good. But now for you, Mia and Finley. I'm also issuing you a warning. This will be recorded on your files. Excuse me, but I expected better of you two. I should have booked it. I should have ran. This is on the very same day we had expressly requested that the situation not be allowed to get out of hand. Let this be a lesson for the future and for all of us. Please understand, I don't like this any more than you do. But as chief physician, I am liable for any incidents involving my staff. And when one or more person, and when one or more people misbehave, it reflects poorly on all of us. Da da da. Now, please get back to work. I hope you have a successful day. The game is called Fall of Porcupine! Sir? Sir? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a sexy picture of him? On his... Wait. Wait! Wait! You guys saw that, right? You guys, you guys saw that. The picture of him that was on his wall right by the door? Guys, it won't let me back in. Cry. You can't even rewind. Rewind. He's. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's okay, kid. Oh, I can't say that word. It was a dumb thing to do. I know that. Maybe a short vacation will do me good. Give me a chance to calm down and think about a few things. You saw it? Yes, I'm not alone. I'm sorry you guys got dragged into this. I don't think you did anything wrong. Sometimes that at the point, I'm gonna head out. Maybe I'll go out for a nice leisurely breakfast. I haven't done that in years. Hey, do me a favor. Sure, what do you need? Keep an eye on your ward, will you? We don't have enough staff as it is. I'm sorry I'm making your workload even worse. I'll be fine. You get plenty of rest and sleep, then you'll be in top shape when you come back. You got it. I'll check in with you later. I look forward to it. Under his beak, it was his gizzard. Hi, Marshy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. 3.36 a.m. That's early. You're late? How could you be late? Um, why can I not go in? Did I miss something? I missed something. Back down we go. We. We. We Hello? Um uh, Elevator? That worked. I wonder why the staircase didn't work. Oh, it's because I had to be on floor three, not four. Hello? Isn't Dr. Krakowski here? Sure she is. She's pretty much always here. She's in the break room. Dr. Krakowski's keeping her head down more than usual right now. Must have a lot on her mind. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go and see her and then start my shift. Yeah, you do that. Where have you guys been anyway? 
I've been rushed off my feet all morning. We got called into Dr. Theobald's office. Looks like we'll have to do without Carl for a while. We'll have to what now? Has he been fired? Yeah. No, no. But he's not going to be in for a few days. Oh, well, that's just great. Exactly what I need right now. Guess I'd better stop wasting time chatting with you then. Back to work and go. Okay, see you later. Break room. Back down to the first floor. Some places have ground floors and then... I don't know. Most of the time, I see that things start at ground floor. The game is on... Is this not the break room? Where's the break room? That ain't it. Um... Um... It's not mobile, it's on Steam and I think it's on the Nintendo Switch. Every place I've been to the cafeteria is also the break room, but I don't think that's the case here. Maybe it's on floor three and that's why it had me up there. Let's go back up to floor three. I'm lost. In England. I have an America. So I gotta pay for health care. And my dentist, y'all. I gotta get four fillings. But luckily my insurance is covering it. But still. Dr. Kakaski, you won't believe what Dr. Theobald said. You mean about Carl being put on leave? Uh, yes, exactly. How did you know? I assumed that was how the conversation would conclude. The issue was raised in the organizational meeting this morning. I was also told about the incident at Gilbert's. It was clear that the incident could not pass without consequences. Not these days. Dr. Krakowski, if I can just explain. There's no need to explain anything. You know exactly how I feel about it. And you also know how imprudent your behavior was given our current situation. But I understand your feelings. Believe me, everyone here does. The frustration, the short fuse, the thin skin. It's all very understandable. Nevertheless, I support Dr. Theobald's decision. This is not the time to indulge in such provocations, Carl's good nurse. The best we have, I would say. This makes it all the more important that we compensate for his absence. Focus and do good work. I... Well, try my best. Thank you, Finley. This is another chance for you to show me what you've got. Have a good shift. I honestly agree with him being put on leave. I agree with him being put on leave because he fought someone. Even if they're being mean to you, you don't have to fight them. You don't have to go like try and beat them up. Why am I on the third floor instead of the fourth now? Am I crazy? Hey, Gadio, welcome, welcome, welcome. This one's a bat, look at him go. All right, I'm not gonna mess him up like I messed up Irma. Ah, there you are, Finley. I need to make an urgent phone call. I was meant to be meeting a client four minutes ago. If I make them wait any longer, there will be serious consequences for me. Really, I don't have time to be here at all right now. First of all, good morning to you. You're Miss Van Galen, right? Sonia, Sonia Van Galen, that's right. And you came to us yesterday with some symptoms. Would you like to take a moment to and explain again how you're feeling? Dizziness, heart palpitations, headaches, a sensation of swimming in a deep black sea but never reaching the shore. Same as usual, basically. I'm sure you're familiar with the condition. Same as usual? Well, more or less. And the sensation has intensified over the past few days. Sharp chest pains, moments when I didn't quite know where I was or whether I was awake. Ah, oh, it's your third stream? Ah, oh, thank you for your support. I'm gonna get a drink. La la la. It's winter in Australia, really? A colleague advised me to get it checked out after I fainted twice yesterday. Do you have any pills you can give me? I don't think this is a problem we can solve with a few pills. Let me take a closer look at what's going on. Alright, but please don't take too long. Alright, got this, Alice. Got this. You're a gamer! Much better than the last one. That was so much better than the last one. Hi, Shay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The last one's rough. The last one's rough. 
Your heart rate is incredibly high. To start with, you need some rest. All right, I guess I can take an hour for lunch for a change. Can you give me the pills right now, or do I need to go to the pharmacy? You should stay here today for observation. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. What did you just say? You need to stay here for the time being. We're going to give you some medication and monitor you for now. Please take the medicine three times a day at meal times. That means today at noon, tonight, and to be on the safe side tomorrow morning. That could be tricky. I don't eat in the morning. Then you should make an exception tomorrow. All right. So what was that? Twice a day, right? Three times. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I never used to struggle with numbers, but right now I can't even remember my phone number. But I'll set a reminder in my phone for the pills. There's no need for that. We'll do it for you. But you need to avoid stress, okay? Try and switch off. Don't make any phone calls. And do not work. <gasps> I'll try. That's me. When I was at my old job, oh my goodness gracious, it sucked because they didn't let you call in. So I was always so worried about getting sick. I was like, oh no, if I get sick, I'll die. Don't do that, y'all. Hello, sir. Are you alive still? Hey, you two. How are things? I'm doing great, Doc. I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, but I'm not leaving without Ollie. I get that, Rudy. Just keep a little distance, okay? Ollie still needs to rest. Sure thing, Doc. How are you doing, Ollie? Not bad. I even managed to sleep for a few hours last night. Can I leave today? I want to go home with my brother. Slow down, Ollie. Let me check your readings first, okay? Yeah, okay. Alrighty, we gotta give him some medicine. Like that. No, not like that, um. Okay, like that. No, 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 wrong one, wrong one. Oopsie. Wait, this is way too much for him. Hold up. I'm giving him like heckin' 15 pills. He doesn't need all that. Okay, so we need one of these. One of these. One of these. And then one of these. There, 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 there. Now he's all set. He's all good now. Yeah, that was way too much. Ah, oh, bye to the people who are leaving. Thank you so much. Wait, B? So? Wait, did I do it wrong? <laughs> what do you think, Doc? Is Ollie healthy again? I guess not. Not quite. Oh. But we've got your bacteria under control now, too. You should be feeling better again soon. Oh. Really? Yes! Alligator! Coming back in the second round to beat the Shigella on points! Yes, good work, Ollie. Rudy, you better go home now. Give your brother another day rest. Sure thing, no problem at all. Did you hear that, Ollie? The sooner we can go out and have fun again! Yeah. I need to finish my round. See you later, you two. You betcha, Doc. Sure, Doc. I'm going to stay here for a little while. Of course, take your time. I failed him! It was the 11th in your phone. It was 11 11? Oh, it's 11 11s. Hello? Greetings, hardworking fellow citizen. Hello, Carl. <laughs> I wanted to see how things were going. I just can't keep away from you guys. Everything's okay so far. Everyone's a little tense. I'm also in the middle of my rounds right now. Let's catch up properly another time, okay? That's a fabulous idea. I was just sitting here drinking nice hot coffee when I got the urge to go out and do something. I could use your help. If you have the time, meet me at the supermarket after work. At the supermarket? Yep, I'll explain everything to you there. I'll have to hang up now. Busy, busy. You know how it is. Hmm. That's how I was when I quit my job. I was like, I'm gonna do, I just, I could do so many things. I was like, yeah, it's go time. Oh, she's sitting up. She's alive. Hello, Irma. How? It's going to snow soon. Just in time for the hibernation festival. You think so? No. I know so. I can feel it in my bones. My limbs always start tingling like this when the snow is on its way. That's how I know it's the first day of winter. 
I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little wistful today. My lovely roommate was discharged this morning. I suppose that's made me a little lonely. How are you doing, Finley? Same as always. Is something bothering you, my dear? Oh, you know, just everyday life. I see. I could tell you a short story to cheer you up. Why don't you start by telling me how you're feeling today? Oh, that can wait. Do you have a few minutes to spare for an old lady? No! Oh dear, you poor soul. Don't let it get you down. I don't want to get in your way. There's plenty of other folk who need your help after all. You're gonna stay up all night? That's not healthy. I'm sorry. It's no problem, my dear. Shall we get started? I hate this. Oh! Wait, no way, no way. Not a chance. I'll put the bone here in the eyeball here. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. What? Your fever's gone down a bit, but some of the symptoms are more severe than they were a few days ago. Should I be worried? We'll manage it. I'm going to talk to the senior physician. Thank you. I guess I'm going to miss to be missing the hibernation festival this year. I'm sorry, Irma. I was hoping we'd have you back on your feet by then, but this inflammation is proving stubborn. That's okay. I've seen plenty of hibernation festivals in my life. One more or less won't make a difference. You'll be going though, I hope. Yes, I have night shift tomorrow. I'll check out the festival beforehand. That's good. Is it your first hibernation festival? Yep, it is. Wow. I hope you can enjoy it to its fullest. May I be so bold as to ask a favor of you? Y'all, I can't read this anymore. Of course. Ah! My son, Guiliano, he's always so busy on the day of the festival. I was wondering if you could bring me a hazelnut candle. Porcupine's hibernation festival is the only place you could get them. You'd be making an old lady very happy. But find one, I'll be sure to pick it up for you. I promise. Thank you very much. He's the, the bartender. And her son. I must have a lot to do. Have fun tomorrow, Finley. I'll see you afterward. You get some rest, Irma. I'm a genius. Yes. She's got pneumonia. She's struggling. I'm done. Now what? Hello? I'm sorry this has put more work on your plate too. Don't worry about it, Finley. At least I'm getting my steps in. We'll get through it. I thought she would help me. How long is the live supposed to be? It'll probably go for like 10 more minutes. I'm gonna take my allergy medicine right now, y'all, by the way. Ugh, cause I am heckin' congested. And I don't know why. Um, we'll probably finish out this uh, work day thing and then and we'll switch to just chatting because I got some stuff to talk about. I'm gonna take it with my tea. Okay, guys. Don't look. If people look at me, I can't swallow pills. So close your eyes, guys. I did it! I was far away. I was far away. Oh, man. I did it, guys. I swallowed my allergy medicine. I did it! Be proud of me. How did it go today? Not bad. It's been pretty quiet, luckily. Ah, it could be because of the hibernation festival. How do you mean? The hibernation festival is tomorrow. You know that, right? And what does that have to do with the word? I can't explain it exactly, but the hibernation festival is important to the people of Porcupine. It reassures them, gives them strength. Some see it as the most important day of the year, and every year you can see it in the condition of our patients. At this time of year, they somehow, they seem somehow less sick. Wow, it must be a really important festival. I've already heard so much about it from everyone. You're on the night shift tomorrow. Go and check it out. You might like it. I'll stop by before work. Are you going to? No, I'm afraid I don't have time. Also, I don't want to. Just do me a favor and don't get into any trouble, okay? Yeah, you guys can look now. You guys can look now. I got an A! Looking good, Finley. 
Thank you for putting in the work during this difficult time. Rest assured that your efforts have been noted. Happy Hibernation Festival for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? That's right. I'll be on the night shift too. So go. So get some rest to make sure you're nice and fresh for tomorrow. Is there anything else you need today? Can you check on Irma? You mean Miss Dacoma? I'm keeping an eye on her readings and I'm going to check on her again later. Have a good evening and do try to avoid any major accidents. I'm sure you'll find plenty of opportunity between now and tomorrow night. Alrighty, I gotta be careful. Let's go home. Wrong way. Remember Pina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop. I'll stop by there tomorrow. Oi. I think her store is gonna be closed. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the supermarket. You're right. I was just gonna leave and go home. Well, let's go see Carl at the supermarket. Goodbye, sir. Hey, Finley. Rough day, huh? You can see that again. What? Why is it so high up? Why is it so high up? Do I live in America? I do! I said I would meet up with Carl. Okay, maybe another time. Take care, Finley. Cool, where's the supermarket at? I feel like it's this way, almost. I feel like it's this way. You know, because every time I walk past it, I'm coming the other way. So I think I gotta go this way for it. Here we go. Tell your cat not to bite you. See, that's not very nice of you. Mr. Kitty Cat. Maybe meeting up with Carl is a bad idea. He is the one who got in, who like started it. You know, he didn't start it, but he he got in a fight. That's okay though. Oi. Gotta go this way. Yeah, what's the cat's name? My cats, they're not really biters. They'll bite you if they're like, if you're antagonizing them. But for the most part, they're pretty chill. Her name is Charlie. Ah, oh, cute. I love cats so much. They're the best. All right, the supermarket should be this way. I think I'm getting used to the layout of the town. Here we go. I need a car. Say hi to Charlie for me too. She's still a kid. Oh, she's a baby. I want a baby kitty cat. Or just make you mad at me though. You're back. Welcome back. Are we almost to the supermarket? We must be. Is this it? Yeah, yeah. H hello? Carl, I didn't recognize you at first. What's with the hat? Shh, not so loud. I'm incognito. Okay, why? The supermarket's new stock comes in tomorrow morning, so what does that mean? You're just in time. Oh, Carl, I didn't realize things were this bad. I can lend you money, you know. Save it for charity. There's so much stuff in this dumpster that's just been thrown away. Is that legal? Yes, I see. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? Yeah, but I'm not getting into the dumpster. This is my only good jacket. Don't worry, you don't have to get your hands dirty. I just need you to distract people while I go dig out the good stuff. And seeing as you mentioned the hat, I brought one for you too. We're a team after all. Oh, really? I'm gonna lose my job. Oh. Are you serious? What? It looks awesome. Besides, you need to draw the attention away from me. And how do I do that? How should I know? You're full of hidden talents, are you? Just jump around in front of people. That should do the trick. Oh, man. We all know you're a natural entertainer. Distract people from what Carl's up to by dancing in front of them. Each person will show you what dance they want to see. Press and hold the button for the right dance to make the person happy. Okay.
Okay. Hello, sir. Are they only coming from one side? Or are they coming from both sides? I don't know where to position myself. Ah, they are both sides. Hello, sir. Um, it's this one. Why is he so needy? Why is he asking so much of me? He doesn't get to ask so much of me. I guess if they're looking the other way, though. If they're gonna look the other way. Oh, except I'm doing the wrong one. There we go. I'm sorry! They look the same! This one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? See, we've got this. It's fine. It's fine. We've got this. You guys... Dang, that's all I can even fix. Of course, they are very social, right? So you can't really have them be alone. There you go, sir. His shirt is clipping through my shirt. Um, 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 this one. I'm doing it, don't get mad at me. But see, I feel like this is long. I feel like a lot of the mini games are just, they're long, you know? Longer than they should be. And I understand that a lot of them only really come up in this game once. But still, they're just a wee bit on the lengthy side. That's okay, that's okay. That was good, we got good stuff. So now you're going to eat all that? Finley, this isn't for me. We've got two orders for tonight. One's on the high street, the other's over by the old tunnel. Your neck of the woods, more or less. Let's get them delivered quickly. It's pretty frosty out here. What about the hat? What about it? Can I take it off now? No, we're not done yet. That's your delivery hat. You need it so people to, you need it so people recognize this. All right. We're delivering dumpster food? Okay. Okay. We can deliver. Who? Ew, that's gross. Who delivers dumpster food? Who orders dumpster food? I wouldn't. Hmm. Would you like dumpster food? Hey, Ruben, glad I ran into you. Why are you still outside? It's starting to get colder. Leave me alone, you big lug. What are you two loitering around here for? And what's with the ridiculous disguise? I've been wondering the same thing. Hey, is that any way to greet young, motivated delivery people? Ugh, I've got a bag of food for you. You can keep it. I don't need your grub. Come on, you old geezer. I know you can use it. You need healthy food and lots of it. Winter's coming and your immune system isn't what it used to be. If his immune system is bad, why should he eat out of a dumpster? I know how much he loves those. He loves his prunes. All right, give it here. There we go. Bon appetit. I'll try to bring you some more next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, let's keep moving, Finley. We've got one more order. Why would we... If, if he's got a bad immune system, why the dumpster food? That's dangerous. You shouldn't eat out of a dumpster anyways. But especially not if you've got a weakened immune system. But, but. The art's almost done, I'm excited. All right, he said to go towards my house, so we'll go towards my apartment. Here we go. <laughs> Here I go. We're almost there. I think we just passed my apartment. Where's the delivery? Uh, 
Where's the delivery at? Okay, I got thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. Hello, sir. I feel like a man. My delivery helper and I have got something for you. Oh, is all this for me? Sure. Oh, I skipped it. You're really a good guy, man. Thanks so much great stuff. I'll be feasting tonight. Thanks so much for all this. But remember that you need to go back to the hospital, okay? Hi, nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. I know about your leg, Elfio. Please promise me that you'll get yourself checked up. Will you stop bringing me food if I don't? Of course not. It's all yours. Just think about it, okay? Do they know that the food's from the dumpster? All right, buddy. You take care of yourself, okay? Finley? Hmm? We're done for the day. Off to bed. Good job. Take care, Elfio. See you around. Sleep tight, you two. Cool hats, by the way. <laughs> I hope that... I'm probably going to wrap it up shortly. Wrap up the stream shortly. I hope that they're aware that the food is dumpster food. Because I wouldn't want to be like, Oh, wow, someone gave me free food. How great. And then find out later down the line that it was from a dumpster. Elle feels right. What do you mean? That we look good in the hats? I told you so. You just have a hat face. No, about you. You really are a good guy. Ah, uh, get out of here. I only help out when someone can't afford to, a crumb to eat. It's no big deal. All the same, I kind of enjoyed it too. You put on quite the show back there. Nearly had me clean forgetting I have my own job to do in the dumpster. I'm heading off. I want to be fresh for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. The hibernation festival? The hibernation festival! <gasps> See you there, I'm hoping. Of course, I'm not going to miss my first hibernation festival. I'm on night shift though, so I can't stay that long. No worries, we'll make the best of it. See you tomorrow. Then he just runs away. You make a great delivery assistant, Finley. We should definitely do this again sometime. Sleep tight. Free food. That's me stretching. I haven't slept that well in ages. I guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms, just sleep. Hmm? Someone's at my door. That's okay. But. Because this seems like a great stopping point for today. I am just going to assume and hope that it's saved right there. I think the little leaf means a save point. So we'll just hope. We'll just hope that it's saved. Da da! Yay! We should be able to finish this game, I think. Mm, I think about next stream. Next stream, we'll be able to finish it next time we stream the game. Okay, guys. So, 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 so. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Does it buy yet? Does it buy yet? I'll tell you what we're looking at. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. If there's anyone who follows me on Patreon here right now. And the Patreon live stream is tomorrow. It will be a karaoke live stream. It will be unarchived due to copyright. In the fact that I have to host it on YouTube, but I will record it locally and see about getting it uploaded on Patreon itself after the fact. Just to protect myself from any copyright strikes. My favorite animal is cows. I love cows. So look forward to that if anyone is subscribed to my Patreon. I believe the, the karaoke stream is the five month rank. The five dollar five dollar rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that will be happening tomorrow, which also means that there will not be a regular live stream tomorrow. So, let me look at my schedule so I can tell you about when the next live stream is going to be. I don't have the schedule written up yet, so this is just like a, a ballpark, you know? But let's see, let's take a look-see. Alright. So the next live stream is probably going to be Friday, maybe Thursday, but more likely Friday because then I'll have a day off. So we could probably do like Friday, hold up. Oh no, not Friday. Yeah, no, we'll do Thursday because Friday I have to go in earlier. So we'll do Thursday, then expect Saturday and Sunday. And then maybe Monday, Tuesday as well. We'll see. We'll see. So look forward to that, guys. Um, 
Ba 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 ba. Yeah, I think honestly, that's all I have. That's all I've got. So look forward to Patreon tomorrow if you're a patron, and then after that, look forward to that stuff. I post one short a day now, not two a day. One short a day. You're posting there now. Ah, hang around so I can see it. I was doing two a day, but I just can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. And too much work, too much effort. So one a day is kind of like the nice sort of settle that I've gotten into. I settled into it. Normal from Animal Crossing? I don't play Animal Crossing, though. I'll look her up, though. Oh, she's cute! She's cute! You're gonna leave. Thank you so much for watching! Thank you, thank you! You just started seeing my shorts. Thank you for your support! So, yes, look forward to one short a day. As well as streams eventually. Streams whenever they happen. I'm gonna make thumbnails again. I just was a little lazy this week and I was sad because I had to go to the dentist and I was gonna make the thumbnails after they get dentist, but then they were like, you got four cavities plus some, so I was like, you know what, never mind. All right, I got your fan out. I'm pulling it up. Let's see it. I'll give it a like. You're erasing. <gasps> it looks cute! Oh, oh, I love your style! It's so cute! <laughs> thank you so much! Thank you, thank you! Thank you for sharing it with me! Alright, guys. Alright, thank you! Thank you, thank you! I am gonna go now. There's no one live that I can raid. So, I think we'll just skip the raid for today, unfortunately. I'll, I'll try and make more mutuals that way you want to see I can't show you because it's on my browser and I don't have it set up to be incognito if you want to see it go to their channel go to their channel it's on their channel but thank you guys so so much for watching I'm gonna put the stream starting soon screen up because I still have not set up the ending soon screen because I'm just lazy like that that's just what I do but thank you guys so much I'll see you next time <gasps> bye